What's up, people? My name is Mike Reyes. You already know, obviously. You, you won't be on my channel if you didn't know my name. Um, to those who are new to the channel, welcome. Hopefully, you can hit that subscribe button. You mga hindi pa nagsusubscribe, please subscribe na kayo. Yung mga nagsubscribe na, thank you very much. And thank you again for continuing to support, you know, yung mga kadaldalan ko dito. So earlier today, I posted a video just because I felt like, you know, sharing what I was thinking of. Uh, this morning in the past few days uh, I actually didn't expect na magiging magandang reception kasi naisip ko ang aga di ba so maganda maganda yung reception kanina and uh, like I said during the video if I can touch at least one person that video or the one hour that I made that video the recording and the editing would be well worth it so again thank you very much to those who are striving to be better even during the pandemic keep going keep going I'm proud of you everyone's proud of you and yeah I'm back at it again this evening um <clears throat> So napansin ko, uh, medyo puro Mikey's POV tayo the past, pa, the past, the past, the past, <laughs> the past couple of days, past couple of nights. So ngayon, naisip ko, kwentong Mikey naman tayo to lighten up the mood, man. Last day of the week. Well, you know, last day of, tama naman, last day of the week. It's Friday tonight, let's have fun, mag-enjoy tayo, meron tayong kwentong Mikey tonight. So, uh, one of my friends, one of my close friends, Franco Abenohar. Um, told me na may request siya. Pwede ba daw pep squad? UP pep squad. Kasi yung girlfriend niya, uh, taga UP pep squad. So I was like, UP pep squad. Kasi I was telling him din na like, Fuch, Fuch yung pangalan niya sa, yun yung palayaw niya or nickname niya sa UP dati. So sabi ko, Fuch, wala naman akong connect sa pep squad eh. Like, I never had a legit connection to anyone from the pep squad. Like, hindi naman ako naging close ever sa pep squad eh. So, <laughs> I'm just kidding, man. I'm just kidding. I've had deep connections with Pep Squad. <laughs> okay. So, since nag-request yung, ano ko, yung kaibigan ko, and alam ko naman na sikat naman yung Pep Squad. Especially nung time ko, guys. Ha? Nung time ko, hindi talaga sila, ano, hindi sila natatalo. Eh. Uh, bigla lang lumitaw yung mga, hindi ko alam kung saan napupulot ng NU yung mga yun, pero parang taga-circus eh. Parang kung saan-saan nila napibend yung sarili nila, tapos kung saan-saan sila napap natatapon. Di ba? Minsan naawa na nga ako dun sa mga, ano eh, sa mga members ng NU Pep Squad eh. Parang kung saan-saan nalang binabato. In fairness, nasasalo nila lagi. Pero, yeah, during my time kasi, yun yung medyo talagang consistently, the UP Pep Squad was on top. Alright? And because Fuch was the one who ans uh, asked for the, for the kwento, malaking part dito, yung girlfriend niya. And alam ko din na marami sa inyo ang fans ng UP Pep Squad. Kasi alam naman natin, iba yung, iba yung nadadala ng UP sa cheer dance competition. Um, they may not have been first place the past couple of years, pero the impact that they have, especially with their routines and the messages that they try to put out there in the world, is has always been um, a trademark for UP. It may, they may not have been the best routine the past couple of years, pero they're for sure one of the most memorable ones. All right, so UP Pep Squad. All right, first and foremost, may ano yan eh, parang yung basketball season. Nung time ko, hindi naman kami pumapasok ng Final Four. Eh. So after the basketball season, medyo maaga kami natatapos. The lead up to the cheer dance, dyan yung na-excite yung buong campus. Sa amin, hindi sila na-excite. Eh. Pero na-excite sila kasi pag natapos na yung season namin, hindi malapit na yung cheer dance competition. So, leading up to the cheer dance competition, sobrang hype yan sa UP. As in, sobrang hype sa UP. Everyone is waiting for what what UP Pep has prepared. Everyone was waiting what UP Pep has, uh, has put up para dun sa cheer dance competition. Alright? And those were the days or those were the years that UP Pep somehow surprises everyone with something. Like, just something. Alright? When I got into UP, um, I wasn't really a cheer dance competition fan. But when I got into UP, the first thing that I noticed was lahat sila maiksi buhok. Like, lahat sila pixie cut. Which, by the way, is the best kind of cut. I'm putting it out there. Fight me. But anyone who can carry a pixie cut is the... is uh, our un unicorns. So, if you can carry a pixie cut, you better carry it. You better rock the pixie cut. Because if you don't, pinapahiyamo, or you're not fulfilling your responsibility as a pretty woman. Alright? Lahat sila pixie cut. So, diba? Sabi ko, Okay, so maybe yun yung trip, di ba? Yun yung trip ng Pep Squad nung time na yun. During my, I think that was 2011, biglang 
lahat nagpakulay. Parang lahat biglang blonde. So when I got to class or when I got to campus a few weeks or a few days before before the cheer dance, nagulat ako parang ang daming blonde sa campus. College ko AIT, uh, that's tourism. Pagdating ko tourism, parang ang daming blonde. Oh, blonde lahat, di ba? So I was like, okay, ano meron? Nung nag-cheer dance na, Madonna pala yung, yung nilalaban nila. So syempre, yung girls, legit, blonde lahat. Tsaka yung guys. Like, Damn, like they could actually rock the blonde hair. Like there were girls that actually looked hotter. I'm not saying they weren't hot when they didn't wear the blonde hair, but they actually looked really good with blonde hair. Hence, 2012, my girlfriend daw ang UP Pep Squad coming from 2011. <laughs> All right. So, you just have to understand muna na yung hype ng UP nung time namin, wild sa UP Pep. Ngayon kasi sumasabay na yung basketball team kasi nananalo na eh. Pero yung hype dati talaga was surrounded uh, or the hype surrounded UP Pep other than us. Or not us. Them lang pala. <laughs> so, 2012. Eto na. Tapos na yung season namin. So, nung natapos na yung season namin, nandiyan na yung hype. Nagsisimula na. And me, personally, I was like, okay, ano na naman, ano kaya ang pakana ng Pep this year? Kasi nandiyan, Nijun may buzz na eh, na like, lapit na yung pep squad, lapit na yung cheer dance, ano kaya yung ready ng pep squad, ganyan, ganyan. One day, I went to class sa AIT. I had three pep squad members in that class. Classmates ko, tatlong pep squad member na puro girls. Alright? Normal, normal day, di ba? I came to class, dala ko yung bag ko, di ba? Mukha akong jock. The way, uh, the way I always dressed up nung time na. So, dating ako... May nakita ako unang girl. Sa labas pa, wala pa ako sa classroom. Ha. May nakita akong taga pep squad na nakasombrero. So sabi ko, okay, like, I've never seen you in a cap. But pero siguro style mo ngayon yun. Siguro feeling mo, swaggy ka today. Okay, sige, let it go. Tapos pagdating ko, okay, lakad ako halls ng AIT. Pasok ako bigla ng classroom namin. Pagpasok ko ng classroom namin, yung classroom namin sa AIT, guys, yung tables, parang conference room na parang pa half circle. So tatlong half circle, tapos sa harap, dun yung prof. So, papasok ka, dun sa unang half circle sa pinakamataas. Pagpasok ko, ang daming nakakap. As in, legit, ang daming nakakap. So, pag ko, sabi ko, okay, ba't ang daming nakakap? Meron dun, mga the usual boys who wear caps. Madami sila dun. But I was like, okay. Eh, syempre, pagpasok mo pa, nakaharap lahat dun eh. So, likod lang kita mo. So, puro cap lang napansin ko. Okay, so, upo ako sa harapan. Kasi, usually, sa harapan ako nakaupo eh. As the best student in each class that I've gone to, and as the most attentive student in the whole AIT body, lagi ako nasa harap. I'm just kidding. Doon ako sa likod umupo. So, upo ako sa likod, puro nakakap, nakaharap doon. And then I realized, sabi ko, yung nakaharap na sila doon, sabi ko, di ba, si ano to? Tapos si ano to? Okay, ba't lahat sila nakakap? Kap lahat. So, after class, Lapit ako sa kanila. Sabi ko, ba't kayo nakakap? Kasi nga, slow, like, I was also curious na eh kung anong gagawin nila. Sabi ko, ba't lahat kayo nakakap? Tapos sabi, hindi, wala, 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 ganyan. Sila, wala, wala. They were trying to brush it off. So sabi ko, ba't kayo nakakap? So sinusubukan ko lang tanggalin. Kasi nga, the year, uh, year before, blonde sila eh. So I was like, anong kulay ng book nyo ngayon? Anong kulay ng book nyo ngayon, guys? Diba? Kaya, guys, kaya, anong kulay ng book nyo ngayon? Ginaganong ko. Guys, nagalit sila. As in like, Mikey, tigilan mo kami. Hindi ko alam kung nagalit sila dahil ayaw nila ipakita yung hair nila o nagalit sila dahil mukha ako ng lalande. Pero, it can pass us both. <laughs> I'm just playing. Okay, so, ayaw nila talaga tanggalin. Guys, ayaw nila tanggalin. So, okay, sige. Um, I let it go. Tapos, ito na. The day went on. Punta ako HK. Ngayon, for practice, I go to, gym, I go to the gym for practice, mga hapon. Pagdating ko ng gym, pumasok yung UP Pep. Siguro mga ano sila? 15 sila. Mix na yon boys and girls. Doon sa 15, merong mga walo na nakakap. As in, yung cap nila, guys, yung baseball cap, yung dating cap na uso, yung diretso. Which, by the way, kung suot mo pa rin yun hanggang ngayon, you have to rethink. And you have to really rethink your life. Kung suot mo pa rin yung diretso, yung cap. Sorry. Kaya just had to bring it up. Alright, so dating ako, ay dating sila, nakakap sila lahat. Sabi ko, dati ganun. Sa 15, siguro walo nakakap. Yung seven, hindi nakakap. And normal pa yung hair nila. So sabi ko, normal yung hair ng seven. Yung walo, ba't nakakap lahat? Okay, sige, let it pass, let it pass. The next few days, parang padami na ng padami yung nakakap. Like, legit, guys. And girls would borrow the guys' caps. Kasi walang caps yung, boy, yung girls, eh. Like, they don't own caps. Kasi some of these girls are really, like, maarte. And, like, you get what I'm saying? Like, they don't, that's not their style, eh. They're really girly. Tapos biglang may mga cups sila ng mga panglalaki. After a few days, 
my then uh, girlfriend uh, told me na may tickets siya for cheer dance. So I was like, okay, sige, let's go, let's watch. Basta mowa yun eh, so sa taas. So sabi ko, sige, let's go, let's go. Let's watch, di ba? Kasi ako rin, parang ano kayang meron sa mga to. And also with UP, UP Pep, they really, they really do a good job in hiding whatever they're preparing. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention. Yung tickets na nakuha nung then girlfriend ko, Ateneo side. So yung UP side, kita namin, nandito kami, nandun. So talaga nag-go wild sila dun. Which by the way, Siguro dahil Ateneo side, siguro Ateneo side yun ako ng girlfriend ko noon kasi wala masyado nanonood ng Ateneo sa ng Blue Bubble. <laughs> That's just facts, man. So, you wouldn't believe this, pero pasok kami kay Moa. Pasok kami Moa upper box, 'di ba? Akyat kami ng upper box. Okay. Lapit ako. Okay, so sisingit-singit ka dun sa chairs, 'di ba? Okay, okay. Upo ako ngayon. Pag si start pa lang eh. If I'm not mistaken si Jesse Menjola at ano ni, eh, si Boom Gonzales. Eh. If I'm not mistaken, ha. It was a long time ago. I don't want to Google it anymore. So, upo ako. May kumalapit sa akin dito sa likod. Brad. Sino kaya ito? Eh, atas sa atin yung side ako eh. Like, uh, uh, we're the only ones in maroon. And then everyone was in blue or white. Nalapit ako. Tingin ako ngayon. Guys, no cap. Aniwala man kayo sa hindi. It, pagtingin ko sa likod, it was fucking Kiefer Ravenna. Si Kiefer na naman. <laughs> Alam mo, Kief, madami kang appearance sa channel ko. Ah. But low, legit, it was Kiefer Ravenna. Yan na ako. Brad. Yan. So ako, oh! Ano pa lang siya nun eh, bago-bago pa lang siya nun. Rookie ata siya nun 2012, o second year, basta. Sabi ko, oh, Keef, basta. Okay naman, ganyan, ganyan, ganyan. Sabi ko, ba't nandito kayo sa atin eh, sabi ko. Sabi ko, eh wala, wala na kami ticket eh. So kwento nga kami ni Kiefer, di ba? Uh, tawa na kami ng konti. Sabi ko, sinong pinapanood mo dito? Ganyan, ganyan. And, uh, I'm not really sure kung sino yung kasama niya nung time na yun, so don't ask. Ayoko rin magkamali. So yun, um, usap kami, ganyan. Then after, Mapulot, mapulit ako, di ba? So, ito na. During the course of the first few performances, nawala bigla si Ravenna kasi nawala siya. Pagtingin kong ganun, wala. Okay, ba't wala si Kiefer? Umalis. Tapos, biglang meron pala siyang, ano, um, parang may spill siya during the show. Na- oh, sa Ateneo, malamang sa Ateneo. So, mag- nung magpo-perform na yung Ateneo, siya yung nagsalita with si Naboom. So, nakita ko siya from afar na, uy, na si Kiefer, nagsasalita. Okay, sige. So, nag-perform na yung Ateneo. So, he goes back to his seat sa likod ko, di ba? So, lapit siya ulit. Sabi ko, oh, ayos ah. Sabi ko, ayos ah. Meron ka palang ano. Oh, ganyan, ganyan, ganyan. Lapit siya sa akin, bumubulong. Ayan. Shhh. Mikey. Mikey. Oh. Bakit? Nakita ko yung galing ako sa backstage sa mga dugout. Oh. Ano ngayon? Bakit yung pep squad puro lalaki ngayon? Ba't puro peps? Ba't yung pep squad puro lalaki this year? Ha? Huh? Ano puro lalaki? Gago. Puro lalaki. Tanga, may mga babae dun. Bro. Di puro lalaki. Puro lalaki. Nakita mo ba sila mahal ng lapitan? O sa malayo mo lang nakita? Hindi, sa malayuan lang. Bro. Puro kalbo eh. eh. Kasi Mikey, puro kalbo. So nagulat ako sa malayo, puro kalbo. Tapos puro pep squad. So sayo ko, ba't ganun? So akala ko, puro lalaki yung finild nyo. Puro, ka, puro lalaki, gago, may mga babae doon. Hindi mo lang nakita, malayo ka kasi. Talaga, nagpakalbo sila. Tibay naman nila. Oo, oh, gago. Hindi mo ba alam? Tiwala, tiwala, tiwala. Babe, babe. Puro kalbo pala yung pep squad? Oo, oh, hindi ko lang sinabi sa'yo. Secret yun eh. Puro kalbo? Seryoso? Oo, oh, secret nga yun. Shit. Tibay. Tibay. So I was like, excited na ako guys. Like, for real. Ito na, lumabas na si Bea Fab. Si Bea Fab, kalbo din kalahati. So sabi ko, it must be fucking real. It must be fucking true. Labas si Bea, di ba, courtside reporter lumalabas mag-intro. Guys, kalbo dito si Bea Fab. And Bea Fab is super girly, ah. So she wouldn't do that shit. Pero ginawa niya. So that was, that was Bea Fab's commitment to the job. So nagano na. Nag, narantado rin talaga si Kiefer eh. <laughs> Puro lalaki daw eh. <laughs> Tapos, nag ano na, pep squad na! Uh, nung lumabas yung pep squad, I'm, I kid you not. I was like, like they've never been so, they've never been, like they've never been swaggier than that year. Kalbo silang lahat, guys. Guys, kalbo silang lahat. Nagwala kami, nagwala yung fans ng UP. And then they won that year. Man, like, Kalbo sila, guys. Like, I just want you guys to understand the dedication that they had as Pep Squad members. Training nila, they start mga 5, mga 11.30 na 12. One time, nagpasundo sa akin yung then-girlfriend ko. Sabi ko, sige, sunduin kita. Ano oras? Mga 11 daw. 11? What the fuck? Practice till 11? Punta ako. Park ako dun sa labas ng theater. No cap! Mga 12.30 lumabas. Galing akong practice, ha? Tulog na ako sa kotse eh. Feeling ko nga, driver ako nun eh. 12.30 sila natapos. So I'm not kidding when I say 
the dedication there the, 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 the dedication that you you needed to have or you need to have siguro hanggang ngayon that you needed to have or need to have to be a pep squad member was crazy nakakalay ni Keith Ravena lalaki ka ganun ka lala yung pep squad sabi ko Keith nung nanalo na sabi ko sabi ko siya magtiwala ka lang <laughs> sabi ni Kiefer tibay niyang pep squad niyo pare ang tibay so di ba para kalain ni Kiefer na lalaki ka that should be something and sabi ko big part yung girlfriend ni Fuge dito because si Kolei siya yung Samsung Stunner nung year na yon. Kalbo siya, guys. Guys, kalbo. Nanalo ng Samsung Stunner. Kalbo. Dinaan niya sa dimples. Dinaan niya sa dimples. Hindi, tsaka maganda talaga yung mukha. Alright? And then, guys, the following week, nanalo na sila. Sikat na naman sila, di ba? Yung mga hinayupak na to, naglalakad na pa ikot ng campus na walang cup. So, kalbo sila. Proud na sila na kalbo sila. <laughs> But that awkward stage, though, in between the, lo- the, the, the the acceptable hair for a girl and kalbo, dun sila nahiya. So, lahat ulit sila nagkakakap. Diba? So, yun yung pep squad namin. <laughs> that was my pep squad kwento. I just wanted to dedicate this to the whole UP community because madaming nagsusupport ng mga taga-UP, mga friends ko dati. Hopefully, nag-enjoy ko sa pep squad kwento ko. Uh, it may be different from my usual basketball kwento, but you already know that I can make kwento whatever I want in this channel because this is my channel and you are viewing my channel. So, if you don't like it, subscribe pa din siya view. What? Wala mo, wala, di ba? What the fuck is 10 minutes of your day? Alright, so to those who haven't subscribed, hit the fucking subscribe button. To those who have, thank you very much. I appreciate you. Keep viewing the videos. And guys, keep sending in your comments because I really see your comments. I really do. Sa mga hindi naniniwala, nakikita ko talaga. So please keep on sending suggestions of what you want to talk about. I just wanted a quick kwento. Nothing serious, nothing wild. I just wanted to make kwento about, you know, one of the premier teams in sports here in the Philippines. I know you agree with me. Alright, so this has been Mikey Reyes. You already know and I'll see you Maybe tomorrow. Pag na na ako mag-video tomorrow, why not? But again, thank you very much, guys, for everything. Stay safe. It's a Friday night. Hindi naman kayo pwedeng lumabas eh. So stay at home, stay safe, stay healthy, and I'll see you again next time. This has been Mike Reyes. Peace!